That sounds like a nice, happy experience. Yeah. Uh, but of course, everybody that's uh, in publishing knows the other kind comes along as well. Yeah. Uh, so something I like to ask uh, everybody that's on the receiving end of rejections, which I know is a fair amount of, yeah. of your year. And me too. I get uh, a lot of rejections too. <laughs> how, uh, how have you learned to cope with rejections this many years into your career? And what advice do you have uh, for others? It's hard. I mean, I, it doesn't, it doesn't get easier. I have to say, like, I, and I feel for authors, like, because, you know, I dish it out a lot, you know, like I send a lot of rejections to queries because I get a lot of queries and because I have a small list and it's pretty full at the moment, like there aren't a lot of spots. So I'm turning down stuff that's good a lot of the time or looks promising. I'm not even asking to read a lot of stuff that if it, it might look promising, but I know it's not quite up my alley. So like, I'm not going to waste their time. I'm not rejecting them because they suck. I'm just rejecting them because it's not a good match for me right now. Um, so it, I understand that that's, that can be really tough. So like, as far as dishing out the rejection, I try and be as um, respectful and polite about it as I can. You know, I can only do so much. Like some people take it harder than others and some people get discouraged more easily than others. But, you know, I try and make sure my like, it is a form of rejection, but like that people know that it's, it's just me. Like I'm, this is a subjective business and I can only speak for myself on this one. Um, and then, you know, when things get rejected from editors, like I internalize that like crazy, you know, I, I want to protect authors from that too, because when I sign things, I believe in them. And I really think that they're going to find a home. And like, when I send things out on submission, even though I know that not all 15 editors are going to love this thing and make an offer on it, like, I, I'm like, why wouldn't they? You know, <laughs> I love this thing. Like, I'm sending it to them because I want them to love this thing, you know, I'm not sending it to them because they're not going to. So when rejections come in, it, it hurts, you know, and it's like, you know, you just feel, darn it, you know, why isn't this... Why isn't this hitting the, you know, knocking it out of the park? Um, it's, it's just hard. I don't know what, like, I don't know. I don't really have a way of coping with it. Like I definitely do have the instinct to protect my authors from the rejections, even though they want them, they want to know. So sometimes I don't always tell them right away. I'll like wait a couple days and be like, okay, we got a few letters. Here they are. You know, I'll try and, I'll try and analyze it for them so they can, they can help, you know, they can see what, what the notes are, how to make sense of it. Um, some clients take it way more hardly than others. Um, but it's just part of the deal. Like you can only sell the book to one person at the end of the day. So no matter how many people I send it to, like it's still, only, even if you get offers from everybody, like only one publisher can buy a book. Like only one company can publish a book. So you kind of have to try and just like, you know, be a, be British about it and keep calm and carry on and, you know, stiff upper lip and all that nonsense. So it doesn't, it doesn't get easier though. It's, it hurts. One of the hardest yeah. conversations I've had uh, was a literary agent who thought we had a deal and it ended up getting killed in house. Uh, uh, he yeah, called me up and I was at work. And yeah. I was like, well, man, these, these things, they, they happen. It's okay. It's like, no, it's not okay. And he's, he's really worked <laughs> up. I'm like, no, 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 no. I, I, I got to go. And we spent like 45 minutes. It was mostly me talking him down. Right. <laughs> Which yeah. I thought was endearing because, oh, why wouldn't you want an agent that, that cares almost more than you do at this point? That's just great. Yeah, no, I mean, it, it, it's, I got very indignant on behalf of my authors. <laughs> <laughs> um, not usually because, like, I'm mad. I do, yeah, it's really hard if something looks like it's going to go through and then it gets yanked. Like, I had a case not too long ago. The book sold and it got multiple offers and was fine. But I had one publisher who was like, the first one to say they were interested and they kept taking it to meetings and kept telling me they were talking about it. And it like, she's like, I think I'm going to offer on this and said that to me a few times and then didn't. And I was like, well, that's, that stings, you know, like that, that always stings, but it happens. Like I'd not everybody can that. get everything. Well, I guess I, I maybe well wouldn't take it personal. I'm sure there's a lot of factors involved beyond just the, the individual. Yeah. I mean, there's so many other people that have to weigh in. 